Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Coilmaster 521 Cab. I was watching other vaping videos because yeah, I definitely will watch other people's videos and I noticed that several people were building on this. How cool is this? And you're like, why is that cool? Well, you know how when you, you build, um, at least when I build, before I had this, I would build on top of a existing mod of some sort and it might tip or anything. And I would get the reading here and fire or I would have to build on something and then move it on to something else. Another device like... Um, like this guy get the resistance and then I have to put it on this device to fire it so I can go ahead and tweak the coils and get rid of the hot spots and everything well this does it all all in one plus more how cool is that I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you um, I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out to the first video that I saw this in and it was uh, Robert Ellis I don't know if any of you are familiar with that but um, when I, as soon as I saw his video, and I'm like, you know what? I saw that. I saw that at um, um, at my local vape shop. And I figured, oh, I'll support my local vape shop. They are um, Pleasant Vapes, but they don't have anything online, so I can't give any links to them yet. But um, if you are interested any time in this video, you can go ahead in the description box below. And in the description box is a description of all the features and everything about case. And if, uh, in case I don't cover it in this video but also in there are two links one is to Amazon so, uh, it's listed as, as Prime so if any of your Amazon Prime you can get it for $41.89 also Coil Master direct from them and right now it's for $39.99 40 bucks so is it worth it well let's go ahead and check it out so this is the device that came in this box in this box you get a uh, giveaway card some instructions and another box and another device and uh, I think that's it so let's see what does this do this is so you can put it see these two holes it has right here here's the, the button you could put this on here just like that and then you could go ahead and test how much uh, voltage on an external battery that has a 510 plug is and then you could put your atomizer on here and then test for voltage drop and stuff like that pretty cool we're not going to be doing all the features here this could be a short video had a very long day uh, had a temporary cat or crown come off my tooth and then uh, I had to do some work on the house and I am exhausted so I thought I'd do something just light-hearted fun kind of video here Huh, look at this. Um, so you get a, uh, looks like something to charge. So it has a micro USB right there. So you could plug that in. I guess that's so you could charge the battery, which is not included. You get these banana kind of things on one side. Alligator on the other side. So you could test wires or, co you know, before you coil them up check your resistance and things like that we might do that in a little bit but what you got to do is you got to put the battery in it uses one 18650 make sure you put a good quality high drain battery in there and a positive here negative there can you see yeah all right where's positive on this guy all right so you want to put the little thing there like this so you can pull that battery out you're gonna have a hard time getting the battery out so we'll go ahead and stick that in there just like that and this is held on magnetically, but it is keyed. So you see that little spot right there? See that little hole right there? Whoop! It's on there. Look at that. All right, so you got this little switch right here. Um, this meter, what that'll do is it'll measure resistance. Right now, you can see on the OLED screen, because this is the newer version. The older version had LEDs here. It says non, 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 non. <laughs> that means there's... Uh, nothing no resistance because there's nothing in there um, off obviously and then burn and when you have it set to burn it um, it will actually act like a mod and whoop, it says check out of my because there's nothing on there but it will actually light up your coils it will send current 
send power there look how that lights up too by the way pretty cool lights up there too so if you do it in the dark it, it looks kind of cool and it gives you a little light letting you know fire it, it is set up to fire all right so I think that's really everything in a nutshell so what I'm going to be doing is I have a video coming up where I'm going to be uh, reviewing this um, Steve Crave a Romanized RDTA version 2 but I figure what an opportunity to go ahead and actually do the build on this and do it on my new Coil Master 521 tab. So, what's neat about it is, you know, everything is here on this build deck that you need already as far as resistance and burning coils and, and things like that. So, we'll put that on there. So, what I have here is some. Um, um, what do they call this stuff? Some Clapton that I made a while back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make some coils, put it on here, and we'll be right back. I hate videotaping um, when I'm actually doing building because it's almost impossible for me to do this to begin with and then to do it on camera because I'm old and I can't even get the freaking Allen key into the grub nut, let alone get a coil screwed on you know what I mean <laughs> this is so small this is so small I think I might have made a mistake trying to put Clapton into this tiny little little deck um, on here it might have been a you know just uh, you know when you see something and you're like oh, I could eat that and when your stomach is bigger than your or your mouth is bigger than your stomach I think that's what I'm trying to say yeah yeah that's it all right so like I like I want to get too clapped in this little guy right here but uh, you know I don't know so let's see so if I want to get like total resistance you just uh, put this on meter and you can see right there 0.34 and then the fire put it on burn and then um you can see smoke there and you can see I've already tinkered around with that coil I haven't tinkered around with this coil yet so um, by the way not metal these are ceramic you should have ceramic tweezers if you're building coils fun like that but you can see I could hit the fire button I could uh, tweak now this is not ceramic so don't fire when you got metal in there like I have right now and tweak 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 come on wake up uh, all right tweaking 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 all right it's good to, to rake a little bit okay so here we go final resistance 0.36 kind of neat just throw it on there this guy's still hot because I've been pulsing it which is uh, putting it on fire then hitting the button here's my coils um, go ahead and fire them up and you can see one's still a little bit uh, dimmer than the other but it's about as best as I'm getting it <laughs> I'm, I'm not a uh, perfectionist by any means I'm happy just to get these little guys working because this guy is um, very small by the way you can see see that little guy little smoky smoky uh, pipe there you can see when you press the fire button it, it looks like the pipe is smoky you can also see the battery indicator again 18650 back there make sure you use high quality high drain fire button okay we'll turn it off really neat I'm gonna let this cool down and we could um, go ahead and we'll try out these little alligator clippy things once um, I could touch this Okay, so let's say uh, before we start, you know, like, like let's say I'm planning to make a coil out of this Clapton wire here. I can go ahead and just throw these um, alligator clips, connect them, then go ahead and just let the alligator, Mr. Alligator, bite each one where I think I'm going to clamp it in the device. And look, see that? got the resistance pretty cool huh all right what else can we do with this well we got that um, voltage checker oh my god get out of there we could try that now 
I notice a lot of people will mistakenly uh, say, Oh, I'm going to put this right here. Oh, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. No, you got to... This, this guy right here with this thing, with the, with the 510 battery connector, it goes over the button. It goes over the button just like that. And then we'll find ourselves a mod. Do I have a mod? Do I have a mod with a battery in it? Let's see. Durr. Yeah, you know what? I do. I do have a mod with a battery in it. I get this. I haven't used this guy forever, and it has. It's the brass is getting a nice kind of color to it. All right, so go ahead and screw that down there like that, and oops. So let's see what happens. Am I getting a reading? Not getting a reading. Maybe I gotta. Um, Okay, I wasn't like pressing this button hard enough because I'm an idiot. So you put this onto the meter setting. You can see it says non there. I'm going to go ahead and press the device. And it'll tell you what the voltage that your device is putting out. Pretty cool, huh? So you got yourself your voltage checker right there. Works pretty neat. You could actually even vape on this. You could sort of connect your device and just use even though it's not ideal. It doesn't feel comfortable to vape with this guy. Even though you might get a lot of looks. Um, people might look at you funny. But um, this is cool, ain't it? Uh, I'm th This is my new build deck. I like it. I like it a lot. I do want to point out a couple things in, as far as features, specifications, so you don't make any mistakes here. Um, this is the OLED. Again, they also had the version with the LEDs in there, but this is the new, the new, latest and greatest OLED. I am OLED. OLED, yeah. Um, other things, resistance range. This could go down to 0 0.01 and as high as 9.99 ohms. Voltage measuring limits are from 0.3 to 9.99 volts. Um, resistance, resistance rate as low as 0.2 ohms. And uh, again, it, it uses 510 right there. There is no ego threading on here, but I don't think you'd use something like this for an ego device. Um, charging. This can charge um, 4.5 volt, which is that single 18650 in there. If you put that cable on here that came with it, and you plug this into a charger, um, 750 milliamp hour micro USB charging port. So it'll charge it, but it's probably not going to be too fast. And again, the 18650 batteries are not included. And wow, this thing is still hot. <laughs> and it's oh, this does have reverse battery protection. So, um, I think we really covered everything that comes with this. The device, 42 bucks average. Um, you could probably find it for $39.99 or even cheaper. There's also probably clones out there. But I went ahead and provided the link to, straight to Coilmaster and straight to Amazon where you can find the original. Alright, wrap things up here. I'm going to put together this mod that I'm going to be doing a review on next. Uh, maybe as quick as another day or two, but the uh, steam grave guy. Look how small! Look how small this this deck is. It's as big as my finger, and I'm trying to put Clapton in there. This is uh, way too much for somebody my age. Uh, I'm just too old for. I don't know how old people do it. You know, you, you, your hands don't work. Your glasses are getting thicker. Things are shaking. Um, uh, and, and especially if you. You know, if, if you're my age, which is uh, 50 plus, <laughs> and you're doing a lot of work, and, and then you're finally just relaxing, but you're, you're, everything is still hurting and stuff. And another problem is like when you get up in the morning, when you get to my age, um, you don't just pop up out of bed. You sort of, okay, you wake up, and then you do a function check. Okay, this finger works. This, oh, that one hurts. I'm going to not mess around with that finger too much this one this one arm arm leg all right everything is working then you slowly roll out of bed put a foot down okay this one's working oh, oh that one just said shock up the back like uh, be careful um you know not fun getting old um i need to do a vape here Still loving my VRDA from Steam Crave. 
I, I love these Steam Crave RDAs. It's, they're just awesome. Wow. Lots of vape. Uh, that was disgusting, wasn't it? So anyway, um, I recommend the Tab 521. I mean, this is a build deck with everything. And Coilmaster has a lot of good kits out there, too. Uh, if you do check out the, the Coilmaster Lay, check out all the other products. Makes building coils, even for old fogies like me, a little bit easier. But uh, it's nice not having to move your your build deck around to different devices to to you know to burn it to tweak the coils and then do the resistance check and back and forth all on one it's held on nicely so you could sort of work on it um really really cool highly recommend it i like it the only thing that um i don't like because I, I like to give you something that i don't like um it would be cool if it were all metal, because it is plastic. I mean, it looks sturdy, sturdy, but, um, I mean, the important part that's getting hot, that's metal. Um, I don't know how you could really make it better. Um, maybe have the option to have two batteries, because if you notice, when I was hitting fire, it was taking a little while for them to coils to light, so maybe, uh, maybe the option to have two 18650 batteries in there would have been cool. Um, uh, I don't know. Could always be cheaper, too. <laughs> Um, you know, I noticed also with some reviews that people said that um, Coilmaster cloned something else that used to cost $150. Well, I'll take the cheaper one because it works really good from Coilmaster. So, uh, highly recommended. Check, uh, I, I might have missed stuff. It's been a long day. My mind is mush. mush. So, um, I put all these notes, all of these notes down in the description box along with the links. Buy it. Buy it. If you're in the vaping and you're building, this is something that should be in your toolbox. Your vaping toolbox. Or your fishing box. Or your toolbox. No, never mind. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do. I really do appreciate every fed viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. And... I went over 49,000 subscribers. Yay! So uh, I'm coming up on 50,000. So I might have to do something a little special. Maybe a giveaway or something like that. So please stay tuned. Tell your friends. Subscribe to me. Please. I want to retire one day. And the more subscribers I got, the better. Plus we get to share and I get to learn from you guys. You get to learn from me. You know the deal, right? Okay, take care. Bye.